Hello, Ella family. Um, we're going to work on a little video just to show you how we're working with Murray. He's doing wonderful. We're, I'm very proud of this puppy. Um, he's a pretty calm guy. He's 13 weeks old and he's doing just awesome. We're going to work on Go Potty first. We're very, very pleased with the progress that he's made. This is going to be more on dog psychology than it is going to be on dog training. But I want you guys to be very successful with this puppy. So we're going to go through things slowly um, so that you get the idea to reward every good thing that this puppy does. If you reward the good, the puppy will do excellent in your home. So we're going to go outside. Um, we're going to work on go potty. This is how we do it. So, okay. When Murray goes outside, I expect him to be quiet and calm and not run out the door. Yes like a wild man, so I would expect him to sit here at the door, and I'm going to say free. Another good thing to do is to ask him to sit again when he comes outside. Yes. So he came out, he sat, he came out, he sat. This is really good behavior, that way he doesn't take off like a wild banshee when, he, um, when he's let outside. Come on, buddy. I just take him out and say, go potty, go potty, go potty, go potty, go potty, go potty, and eventually he'll learn that word means come outside and go to the bathroom, go potty, and it may take a little bit, he may not go to the bathroom right away, Yes, very good boy. I'm so proud of you. What a good boy. Good potty, good potty, good potty. And then treat. <laughs> this little guy, uh, we only started working with him last Tuesday, and he's come this far. The thing that I like about this guy is he's quiet, and he's calm, and he's respectful. And with children, you want to keep him that way. So if you keep your energy level high, yes, good boy, yes. If, if the energy level's high and the kids are wild and your energy level's high, then his energy level, he's going to repeat that same behavior. So it's just critical that you treat him when he's calm, when he does things that you like. Yes. So my expectation is if he comes over to me, I don't want him to jump up on me. The way you work with that is you keep treats with you. His favorite thing is a hot dog. Um, there's several different treats. You can use uh, some store-bought treats. I change it up. You can use string cheese. The string cheese you can carry around with you. But if, in the first couple days you want to work with a hot dog because you need something that's highly motivating to him and he loves hot dogs. So, yes. So as you can see, he's being very calm for me while I'm talking. He's being respectful. He's not jumping up on me. Yes. So I'm going to reward that. Now, the way you start with him, and I want you to realize that when you get him into the home, he's not going to be like this. He's going to be very fearful. He's going to, it's going to be uncertain. He's going to hide. So one of the best things that you can do is put his collar on him and keep a leash and just keep it attached to you. And keep him attached to you and walk around the room. When you're walking around the room and you're keeping him with him, he learns, keeping him with you, he learns to be with you, number one. He learns that you all good things come from you, number two and it acclimates him to the house. It's going to take him a week or so before he's going to um, be comfortable in your house, so don't be worried about it. Right now, he's been in here for a week. It took him about three days to get comfortable being in the house because he's always been out in the kennel. Yes. He's such a smart little guy, and we've got a good start, and we'd like you to see him. Keep him that uh -uh. Yes. Good boy. So the first thing that you do when you get home is you want to work with him on his name. When he hears the word Murray, he needs to understand that something good's going to happen. And that's how you get him to come to you when he is being called. Or when he hears the word Murray. 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 And you can do this uh, three or four times a day. Just repeat his name. Um, I, I want to encourage you to treat as often as possible on a young pup. Eventually you can reward it with Murray. And then pet him, yes. Good boy. Good boy, Murray. One of the things that puppies do is when you come up over their head, oh, they do just exactly that. So you want him to get used to that so that you can get his collar and put his leash on. 
So you can go, you can go, uh -uh. hurry, and then just pet him back here. That's another thing to do, and that just gets him from doing this and trying to escape when you reach down to him. So the next thing I wanted to do is work on touch, and touch is really a good um, tool to use to get him to calm down, or it gives him something that he can expect. Can I hear you? He, that way he, he gives him something to do and he's not going to be playing that dodge game because he's got to work at it. I hear you, I hear you, and I'm not going to reward that. Yes, now, what did I just do? I rewarded him when he sat down and he was quiet. Because he was barking, I didn't really want that behavior, but when he was quiet, then he got rewarded. So I just waited it out until he was quiet. It's going to click in his brain eventually. Yes, I love this. It's going to click in his brain that if he's calm and he lays down, he gets a treat. If he's barking and jumping all around the place, he's not going to get rewarded. So we're going to work on touch. Touch. Yes. Good boy. I used the word yes, that's a reward marker that tells him that he did it correctly, whatever I ask him to do, and a reward is going to follow. Touch. Yes. If you take him through agility, the touch command is great. Um, when people, when you come to greet him, um, it, after you've come home and he's been in his cage, one of the things that we do is make him work right away instead of him coming over, don't go, hi Mary, bring your energy level up. Oh, hi puppy, hi puppy, hi puppy. Then his energy level is going to get very high. What I'm going to do is if I come in to greet him, I'm going to go, Mary, treat. Yes. I'm going to wait till he sits down and he's calm. I'm going to reward that. He knows that when he comes over to me, he needs to be calm. And then I'm going to give him something to do, touch. That stops that jumping up on you. Now, if the kids are wild and they're jumping up, this puppy does not know that they're not puppies. So what you have to do is teach your kids to be quiet and calm and no touch, no talk, no eye contact until you get this. Then the kids can go out, get down to his level and pet him. Two rules, no teeth on human skin and no jumping up on people. Um, the way that we taught him, to, if you want him to stop a behavior you don't like him, doing, um, jumping up on the children, chewing on something, um, we do a sound call, we do it, yes, and I'll show you that, yes, and I waited until he was quiet and he backed off and he didn't keep coming back to me, um, if I asked him, We'll try this. We'll see if this works here. Oh, you know the treats. Let's say he's chewing on your shoe. If he's chewing on your shoe, that's your fault. Anything that he picks up is a toy. He doesn't understand your shoe is not a toy and his toy is a toy. He doesn't understand that your daughter's Barbie doll is, is not his toy. So that's another thing that you need to express to your children. If there's toys laying around and he chews them up, it's your fault. And that's a, a great way to get a good work ethic into your kids. Yes, I love this. Love him being quiet here. So I'm gonna, I'm going to, add, I'm going to treat him while he's being calm. Yes, good boy. Okay, we're gonna work on the signals that this puppy knows. There's really no magic secret to this. Um, they learn body language very, very quickly. Generally, I don't teach with a word command. I use hand signals, but we're going to use a word command and hand signals together um, so that you know what I'm doing and what hand signal means what. So he's being quiet. Once again, love this. Yes. So reward the good. Always reward the good. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. So. The first command is the come command, and it's simply pulling towards you and treating. I just used one tiny pinch of treat. All he wants is the taste. He doesn't care how much he gets. Yes. He learned this, all of this, in three days. So this is pretty, this shows you how smart this little guy is, number one, and how simple it is to do 
tricks. These are really tricks. This isn't really training. The training comes in understanding dog psychology, learning how to work with it, and keeping your dog calm, and setting a behavior expectation. So I just keep the hot dog in my hand, and I treat. Yes. So that's calm. Now he already knows to sit when he comes to me, um, but the, I'm going to show you the hand signal for uh, sit. So we're going to turn around. Hands up and sit. Yes. Good boy. So come, sit. Good boy. Very good. And if you're just training this, you're going to be bringing the puppy to you, walking the puppy back. Yes. That's how you start the training. He already knows this, so he's past that point. We're going to go back to the touch. Touch. Yes, good boy. Touch. Yes, good boy. Now another thing when you're doing some uh, leash training, and he's a little bit too small for that right now, but we're going to teach him, set him up for that. So I'm going to ask him to, you can use the command swing or side. Um, probably side is the best one to use. So he's in front of me. I'm going to just guide him. Yes. Now I have him ready. If I want to go do leash training, I'm going to just go like this and he's going to follow along with me and I'm going to treat him every once in a while with his leash on. So that's a great way to start. So once again, I'm going to do the side. Yes. So I'm just sort of stepping back, swinging my hand, bringing him up there, maybe sticking a step ahead of him. So he knows he's Another command that I have on his front. And basically, he's just following the treat. That's how we start. Come. Yes. Yes. From the side, come to the front. Yes. Murray. Murray. And what I'm doing is I'm starting to teach him to watch me. Yes. So when he gives me some eyes, I'm going to treat that too. Yes. So he's really, really watching me. Now, I haven't done this with him, but I'm going to teach him to look at me. Yes! So his hand's going to follow my treat, but when he looks back at me, he's going to get treated. Yes! Very good! He's very smart, he learned. If I keep my eyes on that lady, I won't get a treat. Yes! Very good! This is really, really helpful when you're teaching a calm, because if he knows to give you two eyes and look at you, uh, getting him to focus on you and coming back to, yes, very good boy, is easy. Now we're going to work on down. Oh. Yes, I had to bring my energy level up a little bit for him, but that's okay, yes. So the signal for down, and there's many ways to do this, and you're going to see different trainers do it. This is just the way I do it. There's no right, no wrong. You can make up your own hand signals if you want, but... We just use this as down. And I just keep the treat in my hand and that guides him down. I love it because he goes on to his side. That's what I want. Now I'm going to ask him to stand. The stand command is this. Stand. Yes. So that just asks him get up, move off the, um, the down command. So let's go through this again. Come. Yes. Sit. Yes. Down. Now I'm just waiting until he kind of tips on his side. <laughs> That's kind of a half tip. Now I'm going to ask him to stand. Stand. Yes. This is stand. Touch. Yes. Touch. Yes. Very good. I'm going to ask him to go on the side. Step forward. Sit. Yes. He'll get better at this where he's right beside me, but this is great for a puppy that's only 13 weeks old. Now I'm going to ask him front. Try again. Very good boy. 
I have also worked on this. Murray, Murray, I dropped something. Murray, you got it. No, that's not. Okay. Basically what you need is a crate that's the size of the puppy where he can stand up, turn around, lay down, and that's about it. But he's at the age now where he could even be in a bigger cage and he would do just fine. Um, uh, when, we, when you get him home, if you did buy the wire crate, then you might want to put a cover over top of it. That would probably be more comforting to him and more uh, similar to, to a plastic crate that's more enclosed. So that's just a thought for you. So what I usually do is I just ask him to get in. I have Kong, I have two or three of them. Have a little bit of natural peanut butter in here that you can get from Kroger's or, you know, it doesn't have all the chemicals in it. Then I'm just gonna ask him to get in the crate. Yes, very good. I'm gonna actually give him a lick and then I'm gonna ask him to come out again. And when you're working at this at home and he's fearful and he's scared, um, you don't want to put him into that crate and quickly close that door because he's going to be frightened. You want him to be really comfortable to get in there and then come back out. Uh, so you can let him go in, let him come back out, treat him, really praise him, and then maybe work on it again. We're going to kind of use this as an analogy of some children coming in or people, friends coming over and how his energy level is going to really, really increase and how you keep him calm. Um, and you're going to see my dogs are going to come out and they're going to be kind of rambunctious. But the expectation in our house is um, that they have to sit down and be quiet before we even acknowledge them or treat them or whatever, and the same process that I use on this puppy, I use on my dogs too. So, and this is very important when people come over. One of the worst things is a puppy jumping up on you. And this puppy has never really offered to jump up on us, but that's because we've kept our energy level low. He's watched the other dogs. Uh, when he sits down quietly, we always are looking for that time when he does it correctly, uh, and then rewarding him. And that's truly the key to having a calm dog. You, uh, what you're doing is distraction training. So if there's something distracting him and then all of a sudden he gives you this great behavior, if you treat him, he's going to get it in his brain that if he's quiet, he's going to get a treat. And eventually you can use toys, you can use petting, uh, love, hugging, that kind of stuff. But initially on a puppy, food's the best motivator. So I'm going to bring my dogs out, then I'm going to let him out. It's probably going to be kind of busy here for a few seconds, but you're going to see them all calm down and then the puppy will learn to be quiet. Come on, guys. That's Midas. That's Murray's dad. This is Maverick. He's Murray's grandfather. And that's Sanibel, the lower rat terrier. Come on, buddy. Puppy. Yes. Same else sit. Midas, huh? Good boy, Maverick. So I'm rewarding these guys. He's just wandering around, but I'm keeping my energy level low. He's just, re I mean, the puppy still, you can see he's a, yes, there we go. I got what I wanted. So he, there's a lot of activity going on. There's four, four dogs here, and here's this little guy being good, and I just love it. 
because he's very smart. And we're keeping him calm, he's not jumping up on me, and if this was, this is a situation where most dogs would be crazy. But he's not, because he's doing it right. Ah, 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 shh. Yep, good boy. Shh. Yes. Good boys. 